Hi and welcome to another episode of Rob's Triathlon Tips for Beginners. This is a short video about how I'm using this year as a, basically a reset for doing triathlons. Uh, last year I completed my first full-length Ironman in Lake Placid and I had spent years and years building up to that and I completed it and like I explained in my video about the post-race blues I've kind of felt down since then and I don't feel as though I want to just like kill myself training a lot this year so my approach to this year is to um, do a couple sprint triathlons <clears throat> is the decision that I've come to <clears throat> excuse me and I'm gonna do uh, a tiny sprint triathlon in a small town in June and see where my fitness is at and then um, make some improvements to my training and then do a more serious uh, triathlon called the America's Cup in Edmonton in August at the end of August um, and I was lucky enough to get a spot to that uh, this year there's no ITU WTS or, or PTO races in Edmonton and uh, they've, they've made this race as a kind of trial for a different course than we've had before in Edmonton. And this race will include a river swim, which is something I've never done before. So that would be a great learning experience because there are several um, half Ironmans and Ironmans where they are a river swim, such as uh, Ironman California and Sacramento, for example. So that'll be uh, cool to try out. So those, that's my race plan. I'm um, just trying to get myself back to enjoying doing triathlons to have that love for them again. And in terms of my training right now, where I'm at is, is very basic. Um, I'm always maintaining my fitness throughout the year. I don't really have any complete down times per se. Uh, so right now what I'm doing is once a week, I'll do a brick workout, which is uh, riding my bike and then running immediately after that. And over time, I'm increasing the, the length of the distance, the time that I'm doing each of those two things. So that's typically Sunday. I do a brick workout. Every Friday afternoon, which I have off of work, I will go and swim. And then the rest of the week, I do two strength workouts. I do upper body one day, lower body another. And then every other day of the week, I do yoga, which can be a combination of you know, stretching and uh, strength as well. So that's my, my basic workout plan for now that I'll follow leading up to the first sprint triathlon that I do in June. And then my plan from there is to start doing some more sophisticated workouts, maybe adding one more run a week that is a, is a like a speed workout. Uh, you can do that in Zwift. There's lots of those workouts. It's really fun to do. It tells you when to speed up and how much and for how long. Uh, so I'll be adding that to my workouts and maybe uh, getting a little more serious about swimming after that. <laughs> As funny as that sounds to me <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah so that's that's my plan for this year get back into loving triathlons shorter through the shorter triathlons not taking myself too seriously this year and then next year maybe doing uh, more of a standard distance or Olympic distance again not putting too much pressure on myself then the following year doing a uh, half Ironman distance and maybe a sprint leading up to that. And then the year after that doing another full length Ironman. I think that that you know, will allow me to have a kind of work-life balance and, and family balance that is more appropriate as well. And not just have me stressing out about working out all the time. Yeah. If you like this video, please uh, give it a like. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and share it with people who may also like the video. Thanks.